What is up guys, Luigi and Chong here, and welcome to episode 3 of my Hockey Ultimate Team Series, Road to Crosby. In this episode, go over promotion to Division 9 of the game here, and then earning some pucks using the flipping players method. Enjoy guys, leave a like and subscribe, keep this series going, try to get my channel out there a little bit. And like I said in the description last video, I'm getting better at the editing process. The edit sounds so my voice isn't like super super loud or um, I know, like the in-game stuff isn't like the same level as it. The music is good. Also in the music I will be having uh, background music for all my videos. It's mostly going to be dubstep that way there's no like lyrics interfering with my commentary or the game's actual commentary to like sound from like gameplay or anything like that. So yeah. And we'll guys like subscribe and here we go with episode number three. Alright guys, first off we're gonna show you guys some more player flips that I did this morning. Bought a couple more guys. A little bit cheaper here. And then I flipped them for a couple hundred bucks. Made some more. I made like two thousand bucks I think. Uh, I got a Hodgson, Schwartz, and Putin. Sold them all for some reasonable prices. I got at least six hundred profit on all of them. And I got Yoni Pick, and then I actually sold him later on for, um, I actually don't remember the price I actually ended up selling them for, but I did end up selling them on, uh, selling them on, as you see here, I just put on their back up there on the auction market. If you use this method and you're not selling them right away, don't worry, just put them back on there, and eventually someone will buy them, but I just said I did I end up selling picking them for that price after I listed them that time there. I mean, it's a more careful, so they did make like 3,000 bucks there. And then here, I'm just going to show you guys some players that I actually bought. I bought this Alex Tongue card for like a thousand bucks. Put them back up there for uh, 1400, 1500 by now. And this was just showing you guys what I do when I actually do this method. You see, at the time up there, I'm at like right up to the. Um, this isn't, this isn't like new players being put up there and whatnot, so. I'm pretty much just looking for deals. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Pretty much just looking for deals. Players being put up on the market, and I got a couple of good ones here. I don't remember who I actually ended up getting. I think I bought those Colin Wilson. No, wait. Yeah, I bought, I bought those Colin Wilson cards, and then I just put them right back up on the market. I am actually like 10 minutes before I'm where I'm supposed to be, but I was still finding good deals here either way. I was still finding some pretty good ones that snuck through. And reselling these guys, obviously just them back up there, made like 400 buck profit off of him. As you'll see later on the video, I actually did end up successfully selling them, and, and then I look for some more deals here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Already got another tongue guy there, I didn't buy that one. I was looking, I was going to get that cone card, but I was like, nah, I didn't think I would be able to flip it for a good amount. The thing is, you want to at least get like... 500. I, I look for at least 500. I bought this Charlie Coil for 900 and then I resold him for I believe I made like 500 off of this. Above 900, you see here, I put him right back up to the market immediately for uh, 1400, 1550 by now. I think it's 1550, it might be 1500, I can't tell. But anyway, yeah, people. People buy these, make some profit off of these. I was gonna buy the Hanzo card, but then I realized I was like a hundred bucks short. That actually would have been very easy to flip for a good like 700, 800 buck profit. And I want to get like one more player before I, I went into some gameplay, getting that promotion to Division 9. And I was looking, I was looking, I was looking, I couldn't really find anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Still gonna be sick, so I apologize for any coffee I do, but anyway. Uh, looking for that last player to spend that last like 1,000 bucks on, and I find it in Cody Eakin. He's up here for a thousand by now. I'm like, you know what? Oh well, I can make like 400 bucks off of him, at least 400 bucks. And that, that, that's exactly what I ended up doing here. I ended up listing him for, I think, let me see here, once it comes up, yeah, 1450, and then 600 by now. And I believe I ended up selling him, I don't remember if yeah. there was one player I didn't sell. But anyway guys, here's some, uh, uh, a little bit more later on, you see how all those I got up there, <coughs> excuse me, ended up selling all those guys that I just showed you guys, me buying and putting right back up in the market, I sold them, got the call Wilson, the Charlie Coyle sold, uh, I was talking, you see, picking them got sold here, 
And I, I hate how the players you sell don't disappear now. They're always there. It's kind of annoying because you gotta remember that you bought and you didn't. And you'll see here is a plus code Egan up there again. He's actually still on the market right now. I gotta check to see if he sold or not. I was getting into a game I played here against a guy who had an all NHL team. Not like good NHL players, but he had an all NHL team. Anyways, come up here on the power play. I can hit this Greg Warrior guy again. A little back in for him. What are you gonna do? Get the one nothing lead pretty early on in the first period of play. Pretty solid. Here he has Nick Backstrom, that's so a pretty good goalie. So later on in the first period, going off the face off here. And the way in the back point. And I just go for a slap shot, I actually get a deflection goal. This is actually my first deflection goal in NHL 15. I feel like they happen a lot less this year, honestly. As I said, that's the first thing I've scored. I've barely even seen them happen in terms of getting on net. So when I get the uh, second goal there, I got the 2 nothing lead on this guy. Go ahead in the second period here, move it up ice, get around him, little fake, 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 and that nice deep there, a little back and forth again. This guy was just really easy to get around. I was just dating around him all game long, honestly. He was playing pretty poor defense. It like, tends to happen, though, honestly, with people in hot. They usually, usually either get a really good guy or you get a really bad guy. But you see, he just honestly gives up just on the ice and just pulls his goalie right out of that main way there. And I get a freebie there for nothing. He pretty much just gave up after the third goal because like he knew he wasn't gonna win. I get the four nothing lead. I don't let up and hunt. I keep it going later on in the second period. This goal was sick with Bo Bennett. All these bangles, all these bangles. I get around all of his players. Like and I come in and get that goal there. That's a five nothing lead. This guy pretty much gave up. He ends up quitting here. And I get the promotion to Division 9. And that is it, guys. Like I said at the beginning, leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys in episode 4. You see me get this 6 goal here. And then he goes ahead goes ahead and quits. That's going to happen in quite a bit. Not probably. We're going to put the back in there, Bo Bennett. And I will see you guys later. Have a nice day, everyone.